Okay, welcome to part one of our apartment makeover series. Today we're focusing on the bedroom. That seems like the most reasonable place for us to start since it's where we spend most of our time sleeping. We decided to uh, do a little makeover on our apartment because we have moved about three times, right? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, so we've moved about three times since we have moved here to Florida in the span of like two and a half years. And every time we've moved to a different place, we never really make it homey or make it feel like our own place because we always kind of go in with mindset that's temporary. We just want to make this apartment feel more like our home and we want to bring our personality out a little bit more, um, decorate a little bit more, and just make it more of a place that we feel joy. So let's start. So like Jordan said, we are starting with the bedroom. This is what it looks like right now. We do have a king size bed. That was one of our first luxurious purchases when we moved in together. We knew we wanted a king size bed, but we have kind of a drabby looking duvet cover here. We don't have a bed skirt and we keep all of our luggage and just like extra things under the bed, but we did decorate with these nice posters from a Disney calendar. On the other side of the bed, there is this bookshelf. We have some of Jordan's marathon medals, some nice shelves, our fans, but obviously you can see it's like, we decorated this part a little bit, but you know, not to the extent of what it could be. This is our closet, and we're not gonna show you too much of the closet because that's actually going to be a separate video. And then on the other side of the bed, we have just this little like nook area that leads into the bathroom, but I keep some of my makeup here, um, jewelry. This is a little DIY that I did a while ago, but yeah, we're definitely gonna change up this area as well. So the first step that we want to do in this makeover part of our bedroom is to clear out this wall and make it ready for our bed to go there. Okay, so the wall is now clear. We also vacuumed because this is where we used to keep our cat's litter. So definitely wanted to vacuum that up. Our vision with this wall is to move the bed over here. So it's kind of against the window, which I used to be against. <laughs> we also really want to paint this wall because as you can see, there's like a line here um, of where the door like kind of juts out. So it's kind of a nice separation. So my vision is to paint this wall uh, maybe like two thirds up until about here with a really nice color. We got a really cool new duvet. So if we paint this wall like a complimentary color and do it two thirds up, it'll kind of act as like a faux headboard. So we have made it to Ikea. We're gonna pick up a few things here, uh, not just for the bedroom, but for a few different rooms, but just wanted to show you what it's like in Florida. Gloomy. This is spring, springtime in Florida. There's Ikea. Funniest product ever. I probably shouldn't put this on but it looks so good. $3.99. Not bad. And you can use it as a bag. Should we get our cats these chairs? Or should we get it for me? No. <laughs> okay, so we asked our apartment complex about the painting. And they said we are more than welcome to paint the walls however you like. It's just that we have to paint it back. Just know that you most likely will be charged even if you try to paint it back. So right now we're trying to decide what to do. Headboard wise, Jordan kind of wants to paint, or sorry, kind of wants to make one himself, which would be really cool, but it just take extra time and extra money. So if the money is the same either way, we might just paint the wall. Um, yeah, so we're deciding. 
just finished at Ikea. We had a very successful trip. We were there for probably about two hours. We're trying to make today a little quicker because we're trying to get this room done in a day, paint and all, which I know is a little foolish, but. Just got done at Home Depot and we picked out a color and we think it's gonna look really good, but we'll have to see when we get home and you'll have to wait till the final reveal. We're gonna paint. We're gonna do it. Taping up. I figured I'd show you what the duvet cover looks like. It's from H&M Home. We got it on sale. Really, really nice, especially compared to this guy. This one is all pilly from the cats and everything, and it's it's just old. We've had it for a long time, and that's why we got a duvet, so we could easily just switch over the cover sets. Um, so yeah, so we got this one. It is beige. It has golden hues in it, so we're actually painting this color green. We picked a really nice dusty green since this one is also like a muted color. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how they will work out and excited to show the final product. First coat done. It looks really good actually. I'm like so happy with the color. So we're gonna let it dry because it is a little patchy. So we'll see how it dries and if we need to do another coat then we shall. The desk is in. Doing this is actually nice because we've been able to like vacuum places that we haven't and like deep clean where we haven't. So this desk used to be out where in the living room and it got bleached or not bleached, it got tanned by the sun. <laughs> so like this is where the lamp was, uh, this is where Jordan's like keyboard mat is and the monitor stand. Like it got super tan from the sun. The ceiling might not have been UV, UV resistant. Yeah, so definitely look into that when you are doing anything like that. Like look. Isn't that funny? But I like it. I, it. It makes it look darker, which I like. Okay. Yeah. I like, do it too. does give it some character, but right. now it has some white spots. Yeah. Okay. You ready to see? Oh, yeah. Oop. <laughs> it's a little messy, but that's okay. Okay. So. Oh, that line's nice. Okay. For the most part, that's nice. And that's honestly the line that we care about the most. Right. So. Oh, that looks really good. Nice. Excellent. Okay, so we are actually going to stop here for today because the sun is going down. We're getting a little tired and we have dinner plans with a friend. Um, so I know it doesn't look like we did a lot, but honestly we did. <laughs> like painting took up most of the day. Shopping took up a while. And we moved the desk and then we did these shelves. Jordan set up his monitor stand, which I got him for Valentine's Day. So originally we were going to do this as uh, bedroom makeover one video, but I think it's gonna take us a little more time than we thought Which is just how it happened. You know, we were just being really enthusiastic about it So this is gonna be the end of part one check back for part two soon